welcome to yet another session in fact today onwards we begin a very important session and this is the first class of the session on personality development and leadership and this is going to be a very very uh, long session session in the sense that there will be a series of sessions because personality development and leadership skills is a broad area where to discuss personality, where to discuss personality development. We have to again discuss how can one improve the personality. We again have to uh, look at many personalities from the world, from our country, from country outside, from around our villages, from around our cities. Similar, because of all this reason, we have uh, maybe 20 25 sessions for this topic personality development and leadership and this is the first part of the topic personality development and leadership welcome once again to all my followers so we have to look at personality and when we think of personality when we think of personality when we discuss personality we have uh, we don't want to, of course, discuss people who have not succeeded. We only want to discuss people who have succeeded. Everybody wants to be a success. Everybody wants to be a success. And we will say that a person who has succeeded normally has good personality. That is, of course, the, uh, say, for example, you look at uh, the history of the world, you look at the history of any country, can see a number of personalities. Say a number of personalities. What do you mean by personalities? Personalities who have succeeded. We have uh, people like Nelson Mandela. We have Mahatma Gandhi. We have Bill Gates, Barack Obama. A lot of people like that. We admire these people and when we hear their name, we just feel a kind of uh, awe or respect and we wish to salute them. We will salute them because these people are successful people. And now everybody wants to be a success in his life. And now we have to understand what is success? What is success? Is success making money? Is success having a number of luxurious cars? Is success just having a palatial house? Is success having a beautiful wife? Is success having successful children? The answer is all of this. Yes, all this together is success. And maybe there are some people, of course, who are not having palatial houses, riches, luxurious cars and all but when you see them you talk to them say for example mother teresa mother teresa even uh, before uh, before her death same mother teresa i have to say same mother teresa, same mother teresa, mother teresa was always satisfied happy mother teresa had a feeling of fulfillment and mother teresa's life was success it was a success story it is a success story that's why Mother Teresa is saying Teresa. So what is success? We can say that success is doing your dream. So we are discussing personality development. I know we are discussing personality development, but we have to understand. We know that personality development, rather good personalities, all the good, good personalities succeed. And we have to discuss success. What is success? I told you right now. Success is doing your dream. What was the dream of Mother Teresa? What was the dream of Mahatma Gandhi? What was the dream of Nelson Mandela? What was the dream of Narendra Modi? What was the dream of Barack Obama? And all these people have accomplished their dreams and therefore they are success. They are are success stories and we say that they have succeeded in their life besides that they have very good personality and now with this so we have to understand that 
a person a person who is having a good personality will be a successful person he will have succeeded in his life and this particular session series of sessions on personality development and leadership will help every youngster i would request you to let your child listen to this lecture let children in lower classes children in high school children in higher secondary children in college listen so that they can understand what is a good personality how one can have a good personality how one can succeed with a good personality so this is this is not something that is easy because we may think that okay if somebody is born in a rich family he could be a good personality he may have a good personality no money cannot give you a successful or uh, life money cannot give you good personality we have a number of examples i can just tell you that there are people who are born rich there are people who are born good there are people who are of course born in riches wealth plenty of wealth luxury but later in their life these people just spoil themselves they don't become success they fail utterly fail and you know the end of these people right maybe one day they take their pistol and they shoot at themselves and they die is that a success story no and we don't want such kind of stories so we must understand the fact that there are people who are born rich there are people who are born good there are people of course these people grow they don't grow good they grow bad and they die worse so we should not be that a person who is having good personality will not grow bad and die worse so let us ensure that none of our child none of our children nobody from our community nobody from our society nobody from our state nobody from our country grows bad and dies worse so with this introduction let's come to the topic personality development and leadership qualities so what is personality personality is an individual's uh, characteristics an individual's features an individual's uh, uh, manners conduct uh, the way he speaks the way he just presents himself the way he does things the way he interacts with others and the way he does things is what is personality or in short you can say that an individual's personality is the complex of mental characteristics that make them of course unique from other people there are some people who are unique they are different from other people think of sachin tendulkar sachin tendulkar is not like harbhajan singh harbhajan singh singh is not like sri shant they are different sachin tendulkar is different harbhajan singh is different sri shant is different everyone okay so i i am sure more people all over the will world love sachin okay that is not the attitude of people towards sri shyam or harbhajan i did not say that these people are uh, not not having good personality but what i say is they have different personalities It doesn't mean that their personalities are bad but sachin has of course a, a greater reception and acceptance and that reception of sachin tendulkar is because of his unique characteristics mental characteristics the way he does things the way he just uh, interact with other people and of course how he does his duty how he besides being a good cricketer he is of course a very good human being that is very important so understand personality is the characteristics of the aspects and characteristics that make an individual unique from others 
such interleukin different from Harbhajan Singh. Harbhajan Singh different from Magrath. Magrath different from Sri Shant. Sri, Sri Shant again different from somebody else. So this is the way personalities differ. But one thing we can understand. Now in my first session what I can tell you is personality is something that is acquired through rigorous training and you need patience to have good personality. You may be born in a poor family where your father is a coolie. Your father could be a coolie. Your father could be a rickshaw driver. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Your personality is how you bring you up. How you bring you up. So with practice, with patience, with the readiness to acquire qualities, you can have a very good personality. And Today, in the introduction, of course, we just define personality and we understand all these things. And now, of course, uh, we'll just conclude this session. And next session, we will, next session, we'll be discussing more about personality development. How can you develop your personality? And we will be just seeing the different ways of enhancing a good personality. I request you, listen to the subsequent sessions of this particular lecture series on personality development and leadership qualities because you want your son to be a leader. I want my son to be a leader. You want your son to be a leader. We want leaders in the country and the country will develop into prosperity and our country or any country will be the at the highest level close to heaven. Let's make a heaven here. Human beings can do that. Thank you so much for listening.